Motel's been condemned, forcing dozens of people out of their home. Long-term residents who often pay a week at a time. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell has more from the Economy Inn. People started calling on the economy in to be shut down after a woman was shot and killed here after Christmas. Now the county has stepped in to do just that. Code enforcement officers helped clear the economy in Wednesday. According to a Greenville County spokesperson, a lack of smoke detectors, plumbing problems, and electrical and heating issues prompted the county to condemn the motel. Jory Green says she's been here for about a year and a half. How's it been living here? Not good. Living conditions are terrible. With the motel shut down, the county's motel displacement response plan was put to the test for the first time. Funds from the county and several local organizations are being used to put Green and dozens of her neighbors in hotels while they get back on their feet. Susan McClarty is with the Greenville Homeless Alliance. There's over 37 partners who mobilized to be ready today to provide transportation, meals, and moving folks uh, to another motel and working with connecting them to services that we hope can land, you know, people in a better, uh, less tenuous kind of place such as this. Green says it's been difficult to find a more permanent place, even as she's working, going to school, and paying nearly $900 a month for a room at the inn. Everybody out here is just not drug addicts and prostitutes and liars and thieves. You got people out here that's just getting hard time trying to make ends meet and do better for their family. The Economy Inn has been in the spotlight in the past, most recently for the shooting death of Alicia Laws in December. Local activist LaVon Bailey says that was a tipping point. I think that was the last straw that broke the county's back in order for them to see something needs to be done in reference to the hotel here. Green says she didn't just lose a neighbor, but a friend. Like kids, they don't need to be out here. I'm glad they're closing this building down. Our attempts to reach the owner of the economy in today have been unsuccessful. In Greenville and Maxwell, 7 News. So here are the next steps. The, the motel owner has two months to get that place back up to code. If you're interested in donating to help some of those people who have been displaced, people who have lost their homes, you can donate to the Greenville Homeless Alliance's Angel Fund. More information on how you can do that is posted now at WSPA.com.